if they are not harmful or if they move slow or if they have a really short duration which I'm actually going to decrease um, let's decrease to one so basically if they get a debuff that just slows them I'm not really going to worry about it situationally there's some bosses where you kind of need to same thing with non-harmful if it's not harmful then they can usually keep it on them for a little bit but obviously it's once again situational short duration these are ones that are super short and uh, chances are I wouldn't even get the cleanse off in time you can set that for five seconds one second because I'm pretty quick about doing that so uh, anything higher I should be able to cleanse it uh, here's the priority level of which ones will pop up first um, Honestly, they don't really matter because most of these should be cleansed anyway, so they're sort of all the same priority. And also, visually, uh, the priority doesn't really change much. Uh, you can have it set here. I can't really show you this, but um, on my druid, I have remove corruption, which does magic, curse, or poison. So I have magic, poison, and curse, a bright green color. So when someone gets one of those three, it will turn their bar into this bright green color, signaling for meat to cleanse them. Disease is this purple bar, just so I know that they have a disease, even though I can't do anything about it. Maybe I can call out an event for someone else to cleanse it. Um, paladins can do diseases, I believe. Uh, priest can do diseases too. I think shaman too. I don't know. Um, so I like to see that they actually have it even though can't do much about it. Uh, custom if you want. Custom um, colors for debuffs that you really can't do much about anyways like looks like these it hasn't been updated for cataclysm. Oh, yeah, it has. Uh, has it? Let's see. I mean, I know that add-on itself. Okay, this part hasn't been. Uh, so let's go back to Wrath of Lich King. Uh, you know, certain stuff like uh, like Web Wrap or Jagged Knife, Grievous Bite, different boss abilities that they do to people the person gets a debuff but you can't really do anything about it you can't cure it or cleanse it or anything uh... i have it so they change to this dark uh... purple oh well, i guess this is the debuff color but it's a color that's not used by anything else so you can still see it um, warnings these are uh... you know whole different warnings you can use you can play sounds um, change the aggro bar color display warnings uh, change the health bar color it's all preference on what you want to do I prefer to just keep everything normal everything uh, default besides changing the colors and obviously all this stuff right here um, buffs you can set it so healbot uh, regulates buffs sort of like um, Pally Power used to do I don't really find this too useful anymore. Uh, you can monitor missing buffs from people by doing this, and um, it will change their color accordingly. Like, uh, let's see if it. There we go. I mean, it's it's kind of useful, but not not for me because I'm on top of my buffs. Um, and so right here my bar is white because it's checking if I have Mark of the Wild, which I do not. So that would signal for me to cast it. And I casted it. It should change back to... Uh, oh, wait. Sorry. Oh, so I have Thrones enabled. There we go. Now that I have Thrones... or sorry, Thorns. Uh, I changed my color back to... Uh, orange. It's kind of nice. It'd be even more useful if it would monitor other classes. Um, 
buffs so you can monitor kings and might and all that but it does not do that sadly so instead um, yeah it doesn't look like it do th does that so instead uh, you know it just does yourself and it's marginally useful but if you can't really remember to buff the raid then you probably shouldn't be raiding anyways um, tips these are tooltips and stuff you can show tooltips uh, I don't really like it because it clutters up my screen even more and it's not terribly useful um, you can hide the tooltips in combat but I just prefer to sh not show them at all um, there's a whole bunch of different options you can do you can constantly update it you can uh, show target information show my buffs um, <clears throat> show details about the spells that you're casting or that your target is casting you can show spell cooldowns, you can show heal over time recommendations um, that's like uh, you know basically tells you how to heal sort of it's not very good at it uh, use game tooltips uh, show active monitored hot details that's um, all this I don't know if you, you could probably read this, but it shows like uh, how much mana uses and all that stuff. Uh, opacity, you can change how much you can see it. Where it is, below, above, to the left, to the right, next to cursor, all that stuff. I don't show that. <coughs> and here is other. Smart cast out of combat, which they have moved to this tab. Um, is quite nice actually. I like it. Um, it lets it so it well it's smart cast out of combat. When you're not in combat and you have let's say you finish the boss fight and some people are dead, instead of having to target them and cast resurrection or put a specific uh, mouse click to that person to resurrect. Smartcast will resurrect them automatically as soon as you click the button. So you don't even need to do anything. You just uh, click it, click their bar, it'll start casting res, or it'll uh, cleanse them, or buff them, or all that good stuff. Uh, you can use the mouse wheel for uh, different spells as well. Like, not the actual click, but the scroll up and the scroll down. Wheel up, you can do that. <coughs> um, there's not a it's not like the spells area where you can do where you can just type in any kind of spell and use that it's a uh, more specific things um, I don't really use this just because it's all sorts of stuff that um, eh, I don't know it's a uh, not I don't find it that useful um, test bars, obviously if you want to test what your bars look like, like you saw me doing uh, earlier. <coughs> That's nice, you can set how many tanks you have, how many pets, uh, how many of your targets, how many bars. It's great to test what everything looks like while, <coughs> uh, while you're not in a group. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, I think there is something else I wanted to show you. Um, like I said, you'll be probably spending most of your time in here and in the skins tab. Skins, obviously, to uh, get it looking how you want it. And this tab to decide where you want your spells. Make sure to not keep it too complex, um, unless you're good at managing that sort of thing. For me, getting it too complex, I will go to click a button combination and cast the wrong spell. So I like to keep it six minimum. And I'll show you real quick exactly uh, what I have. Go. I'll just put it right here. So if I just straight click on the target, I cast Rejuvenation on them. And as you can see, the counter is ticking off right there on the bar. Um, if I right click on the bar, it 
cast Life Bloom. Also, the ticker is there, and if I cast again, it puts a little 2, and it's right next to there. I need to actually change those uh, text sizes because they're quite big. And if you see, as it gets smaller, at 3 seconds it changed to red, warning me that it's about to run out. Uh, shift click, regrowth, also shows the little buff there. So if I go, I can get you know all my buffs running. Actually, this might be difficult. There we go, got a lot going. Um, shift click is my rejuvenation, or sorry, uh, no, shift click is my regrowth, click is my rejuvenation, right click is my life bloom, and then shift right click is my healing touch, um, and then alt left click, oh sorry, alt left click is my um, swift mend, and alt right click is my uh, what's this spell called wild growth so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and I will show you guys some uh, examples of me healing some I'm just gonna do some regulars because my gear isn't quite ready for heroics well it is but I actually have to try it I won't be able to talk and all that good stuff so I will see you there alright guys so I am in Lost City of Tolver with a random group that I just found. And I'm sh uh, showing you guys this uh, heal bot in action. So as you can see, I can see everyone in the party. Uh, this Cressona is the tank. Um, and you should be able to make out the fact that you can see my hots on the targets. Uh, if not, I will try to flood... Oh, no. Don't let it run out. Ow. Um, so, yeah, you can see all my hots running. Um, you can see... No. There we go. You can see on the tank, I have my three... What is it called? Life Bloom running. And it gets... Once it gets low, it turns red. Um... It's very simple. I don't have to mess with my bars at all. I don't have to target anyone. Um, the only time that I use my bars is, you know, cast uh, Fairy Fire or sometimes Moonfire if I really need to. I use it for buffs. I use it for CC, which I should be further away. Um, <coughs> I use it for, uh, you know, Tree Life. A few things like Innervate I use it for, I should probably go ahead and put that on my mouse key, but I don't. Uh, Tranquility. Uh, they pulled the boss out now, I'm still in my form. Okay. Oops, wrong spell. So I'll cast my three stacks of Fairy Fire, and I'm off to healing the boss. Or, sorry, healing the tank. Um, I like to go ahead and throw three stacks of my Life Bloom on right away. Um, and healing touch re uh, refreshes the duration of life bloom. So um, no, oh you bitch. Normally, I can cast my three life bloom on the tank and keep those three running the entire fight. Um, just by making sure that I'm constantly healing uh, he heal touching I guess would be the ver verb of it um, or I can just cast one more on them and do that um, of course you know the life bloom if you know anything about druids heals for crazy amounts when it expires so uh, sometimes it's nice to let it run out but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys uh, the add-on in action. It's really easy. Um, like I said,